Yeah, Big Lou, Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And let me tell you what happened to me the other day. It was uh, June 29th, uh, last Friday, as a matter of fact. I got this big box from the FedEx man. Inside it was a cooler, a styrofoam cooler. Inside that was ice packs and 50 fresh oysters. About 20 years ago, I read a story, um, a book actually by a fellow named Jimmy Buffett. Sings a lot of songs. You may have heard of him before. He wrote a book called Tales from Margaritaville, a collection of short stories. One of those short stories started with the line, it wasn't a month for eating oysters. What that means, y'all, is it was hot. All right, months without an R in it, May, June, July, August. Those aren't oyster months around here in the Gulf South. Just aren't, you know? The oyster season is like October, November, Christmas time. Man, that's oyster season, you know? But I got them in midsummer. <laughs> it was hot, and I got 50 fresh oysters from islandcreekoysters.com. And they were sent to me by a subscriber named Gregor Miller. And I want to thank him a whole lot. He doesn't know how much uh, this meant to me because I got to, while I was shucking those oysters, I got to talk to my son and daughter about my stepdad. Um, he, we lived about an hour north of New Orleans, and he kept his, bo uh, his boat down in Waveland, Mississippi. We'd go down there and catch uh, redfish and specks and stuff. And when we'd come back in from fishing, uh, there in Waveland or, or uh, over in Bay St. Louis, we'd stop by a place, get some sack of fresh oysters right off the boat. My stepdad would complain if they were more than a dollar a pound. You could get a sack, 35 pound sack of oysters or so for 45, 50 bucks in those days, you know? And we would come back uh, home and we'd clean the fish on the tailgate of his truck and shuck the oysters and we'd put some away for gumbo, the little small ones for gumbo and the bigger ones for char grilling and eat. We'd eat one raw, about every third one raw, you know? And um, I got to uh, tell some stories about my stepdad to my kids, and I used my stepdad's uh, old oyster shucking knives. I know that his daughter, my stepsister Lisa, up in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, watches this show. Lisa, I got to use your dad's uh, oyster shucking knives in this video. Um, Mr. Miller, you don't know how much uh, that made my heart swell to be able to shuck those oysters in the middle of summer, too, and talk to my kids about my stepfather that they don't remember. He passed away about eight years ago. These things um, are just a, a huge blessing and worth more than you'll ever know. Thank you very much. Anyway, here's how to shuck some oysters on Big Lou Barbecue. They came shipped in this box. Inside the box had two decals, professionals only, and Island Creek oysters, all right? Instructions on how to shuck. I looked at them. I kind of already knew that. And instructions on how cold they need to be. And lucky you. Yes, Gregor, I feel very, very lucky, fortunate even, to have um, these fresh oysters, okay? So they come in the box. You open it up. There's a styrofoam cooler. Can y'all see? And they're right like that in there. Y'all, that's 50 oysters. That's four dozen plus two. All right, I'm gonna char grill two dozen of them and we're going to uh, make gumbo with them. Those will be in separate videos and I'll have links down below when those videos are posted. These things are still real cold and I got them yesterday. They smell absolutely wonderful, perfectly fresh. Can't All wait right. to get in. It is 96 degrees outside. Uh, it is not a month for eating oysters. It's the last day of June, tomorrow's July 1st. And um, y'all, I've never, shucked oysters this time of year before ever. I teased Johnny Stewart about it um, not too long ago about getting oysters in the summer. He said, you know, we've got refrigeration nowadays. Uh, these came from Massachusetts. I'm so excited. All right, this is my stepdad's old uh, oyster shucking uh, holder. And he had two knives, a thin one and a thick one. I don't remember which one he liked best. I think he liked the thin one best. I like the thick one best. This is the one I remember using when I helped him shuck oysters. And that's the one I'm going to use now. All right. So um, let me get, uh, I've got a bowl to put two dozen in that's going to go in some seafood gumbo. That'll be another video. I'll have the link below. And I've got a platter of crushed ice. The ones that are going to be char grilled on a half shell are going to be set on this platter of crushed ice. All right. Gonna need gloves, so I got my oyster shucking gloves on. Yep, and that's the wrong hand, guys. All right, actually fish cleaning oyster shucking gloves, that's fine, just to help protect your hands and uh, hold the oysters, okay? Now, I've got 50 oysters, so that means 
and get to eat two so that I'll have an even four dozen, all right? And I'm actually going to eat one, and my daughter Hannah is going to eat another. I don't think she's ever seen me shuck oysters before. Like I said, I haven't done it since the... Uh, BP oil spill, uh, Deep Horizon oil spill back in 2010. I know it's been longer than that. And probably five years, probably been 15 years since I've, I've shucked oysters. Okay, these are uh, Massachusetts oysters. I've never had any oysters that weren't Gulf, um, Gulf oysters before. And these, these look a little different than what I'm used to uh, out of the Gulf. They really do. Um, but hey, I'm sure, sure they're going to be delicious. Gregor, I can't thank you enough. All right. Um, a Gulf oyster would fit almost that whole thing, but the oyster inside's not all that small, okay? That's a little seaweed stuck on top of there. Looked like legs or something, but it's not. All right, so let's get the crack of these oysters open. I've never uh, shucked some that uh, were like this, but hey, I'm very proud to have them, all right? Well, now I know why the uh, Boston um, oyster shucking knife is so much thinner than the uh, French style, I think is what they call it, the one I'm... I'm used to using because the oysters seem to be smaller um it's not a complaint just an observation all right so you want to get in right there by the hinge and just pop it open like that it's that easy all right once it's popped open you broke the hinge you go in with this knife here and you scrape along the top to cut the cut it away from the top of the shell right here so the top shell is like that okay and the oyster looks like that. Now the oyster inside's about as big as Gulf oysters, just the shell is smaller. Then you go under and cut that away right there. That little purple area in an oyster shell is where it was cut. All right, now this one is going to go for gumbo. This one, I just learned why they Northern oyster knives are so much thinner than the ones I didn't know that. And I wouldn't have known that if Greg hadn't have sent me these. Boy, they smell delicious. Golly, they smell good. All right, got that one cut loose. And now we're going to leave that one. I'm going to cut it loose, but I'm going to leave it in the shell. Don't need it real sharp. And this one is going to be served... Just like that, uh, we're not going to serve it raw, though. We're going to do a char-grilled oysters on the grill here in just a few minutes. Okay, I picked out two big ones. Since we've got 40, uh, well, actually 50 oysters, that's four dozen plus two. So Hannah and I are going to eat two, okay? So just go in right here by the hinge and crack it open. There we go. It's open. Slide the knife under and cut it away. Cut the top one away. I'm going to cut the foot out so we can get it out with a fork here in a minute, but leave it in the shell. And then Hannah and I are going to eat these two. Live just like that. Just like that. All right. That one came off real easy. Ooh, look at that. I want that one. You want this one? Mm-hmm. Right, this is the one you'll get to eat. All right. I've learned why... why the Massachusetts style is so much smaller than the um, French style that we use down here. Okay, let's eat them. All right, excuse me. I've got a little set of those little tiny oyster uh, forks. I don't know where they are right now. My wife's got them put away somewhere, all right? But we got the oyster right here. And what I've got is these, um, what do you call it? Fondue. Uh, forks for dipping into fondue. That's what we're going to eat the oysters with. They're fun right. looking. They're fun. Show them your oyster, Hannah. Yay. You got a pearl? No. Oh, well, if I find a pearl, I'll give you a set of pearls. All right. Hopefully, I'll find enough for you and your mother. All right, you ready? I'm trying. Have you had a live oyster before? I have. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Oh, I had some last year on your mama's birthday. You weren't with us. Mm. That was October, oyster season. All right. Uh, you ready? Mmm, -hmm. salty, piece of shell, salty, fresh, robust, mm. very, very good Island Creek oysters. All right, I'm going to get to shucking the rest of these. Uh, you've seen me shuck enough of them, but uh, anyway, char-grilled oysters and seafood gumbo coming up on Big Lou Barbecue. Links will be down below. I'll stick some iCards in there too.
Bye, y'all. Gregor, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Miller, for sending us the oysters. Thank you, Mr. Miller. It was good. It was awesome. I'm excited.